Today, we are on Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, down here at Pier 39. Amy is eating her fish as we walk because we're running out of time because we gotta catch a boat. Amy, we gotta catch a boat, eat that fish while we go. We're headed to the rock. The rock, come with us. We're waiting for our boat, but here in the loading area to go over to Alcatraz, they've got a sweet, sweet model of the whole island that you can look at for a bit of orientation. Such cool details. One thing you need to know if you're coming to San Francisco and you want to go to Alcatraz, it's to book your tour well in advance uh, because it's just hard to get on this boat. So book your tour maybe even a couple months in advance. There's no way to go a lot. There's hey guys, lot we're getting our own oh. escort. Oh. We're getting our own escort <laughs> onto the boat. <laughs> Woo! There it is. is. The last time I've been on a boat was 20. That's literally our boat. Did you know Alcatraz is a national park? And just like that, we are headed on to the Alcatraz Clipper. <laughs> Amy, we came all the way to the tippy top. The boat leaves the dock and takes you all the way around the island. Alcatraz Island. Woo! Nice. We have lots of stories, live talks throughout the night about our famous inmates, media, and prison, and more. You'll find out what these offerings are and how to be a part of them when you're inside the prison. We have signage for you there about all of that. But we have to get you there, so head up the hill, take it easy. First things first is a long walk up. A scary hill. <laughs> Amy, you've been doing your research. They say cell block 14D is the most haunted area. Cell 14D? But usually things that are like famous aren't really. There's usually another corner somewhere. Be on the lookout. Let's go up through this tunnel. <laughs> Alcatraz not only full of history, but it's also a bird sanctuary. So, you come from the dock down there, up here, and there's still more to go. We're going to make it. We're going to make it, Dulcie. I need a pub stop. I need an electric scooter. And here we go inside now. The audio tour for Alcatraz. I'm not going to be able to share with you, but it's amazing. So if you come, make sure to do this audio tour. You come in here, you pick up your headset, and you kind of guide yourself through the prison. There's ambient noises. There's testimonials from actual prisoners and war uh, guards and uh, it's really amazing this is where they took showers got our little headset we're ready for the tour so once you get to this red sign all you got to do is press play and your tour starts did you start yours amy we're hearing our narrators now you're a number not a name. This is called Broadway. This is a typical cell. This is the recreation yard. This is cell block D where the most unruly prisoners were kept. 
14, 14D, supposedly the scariest cell in here. Uh, Where'd she go? She's too chicken. Solitary. Oh my gosh, Chris, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> I was just saying how creepy it was. Here is the Alcatraz Library. See the little box there with the two holes in it? That's a headphone jack so that they could listen to the radio. Two different stations they could listen to. Here are the visitation windows. They said the prisoners called it the Pekin Place. Here's the famous cells where they tried to escape. They put dummy heads in their beds and dug holes with spoons. Into the dining hall, 200 men eating three times a day. The knives are outlined on the knife board so that the guards could immediately tell if a knife had gone missing. Yikes. The prisoners would report that they could smell coffee roasting and the Ghirardelli chocolate being made coming across the bay. It would drive them crazy. It's a photo of the prisoners leaving for the last time when they closed it. It's good. It's good as, good as ever. <laughs> it's really good. You gotta do the tour. It's a little scary. Well, scary. And of course, you exit through the gift shop. <laughs> Nothing says murder and mayhem like a good gift shop. <laughs> Get a bridge. You can buy sweet inmate cups, sweatshirts, posters, reusable bags, hats. You can even buy a harmonica here in a prison. The tour doesn't go into the uh, Native American occupation of the island from 1969 to 1971, but another deep, rich part of the history of this island. Uh, yeah, it's really neat to learn about. And they preserved a lot of the graffiti and uh, signs that the uh, Native American community uh, painted while they were here during those two years of occupation. We're joining a walking tour that goes down back to the boat dock about the youngest inmate, Carnes, who was ever here on Alcatraz. He came here when he was 18 years old. So this kid, 18 years old, he would get into Alcatraz and he would be involved in another escape attempt. He got, he, he got into federal prison because of one and he would be involved in the bloodiest escape attempt on Alcatraz. He refused to participate in this battle and refused to harm anyone. So he was let go because the uh, guards felt sympathetic for him. He was 20 years old when this uh, battle happened. But this is him in 1955 at 28 years old. So this is him a decade after his time uh, here at Alcatraz. And he would be here until 1962. He's one of the first guys to get out of prison um, in their cycle of uh, closing down this prison in waves. This quote says here, um, this is from Jolene Bobby, she was a resident here on the island and she stole a lapidation so it comes back out. And she was writing about people here of Alcatraz and she wrote, Clarence called me lonely and inebriated, leaving a message on my machine saying, I'm sitting here, nothing to do, 
And you know something? I had a better weekend many a time inside of the penitentiary of Leavenworth than I'm having at this very moment. If I were at Leavenworth, I would have some popcorn or cookies or some little sandwich, and I'd be sitting in the TV room with one of my friends and be comfortable. Voice message left for Jolene, Bobby. In her book, Eyewitnesses on Alcatraz, and that quote summarizes his time here in prison. So much history. From a military institution, to a penitentiary, to Native American land. There's a lot going on here at Alcatraz. And here comes our crew. And there's our boat. It's time to depart Alcatraz at night. As Alcatraz is fading in the distance, the only thing left to say is, show the cat.